Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Phase 11. In this video I want to show you the relationship between the wavelengths of the laser and diode laser actually and the temperature. So we are using our 15 watt uh, DUOS laser and you uh, can see the temperature now on the diode is about 14.2 uh, Celsius so it's roughly the same temperature should be on the diode and we run it on the minimum minimum power over here so we have a spectrometer uh, let me show you okay uh, this is Aurora 4000 and uh, it's connected via fiber it's uh, optical optical fiber and uh, we check the wavelengths on my computer. Let me show you. So what we see here that the wavelength for this uh, laser right now is something between uh, well probably roughly 439 nanometers so it's like the average so it's also if we scroll it back uh, we'll see that there is also some some sort of uh, another slope with uh, shorter wavelength, probably 400 uh, to 435 nanometers, and then we have a huge peak for the oops, for the diode, and you see that uh, we see it here. It's also interesting that. Uh, while naked eye you see that the uh, image is quite stable but in fact you can see that it has some fluctuations so it's not very big fluctuations but they are that the laser generates um, you know different di different amount of energy all the time but uh, yeah but still it was a general idea to see to find out the uh, initial wavelength probably yeah like 409 439.2 nanometers okay so this is a minimum temperature well minimum working temperature uh, of the laser and uh, let me let me show you really quick. so it's over here still here you see that we do not uh, get direct light, we just get a uh, reflected light because it's white uh, paper, white piece of paper, so it reflects uh, the same uh, wavelengths that we had initially. So uh, we have initially from the diode. So now let's turn off the tech cooling and the temperature will start growing up. Okay, now we unplug the tech cooling and you see that the temperature uh, starts growing and meanwhile we can see what's happening with the wavelength okay So you see that it's uh, been shifted from 439.2 and you see that it's moving uh, to the right. So the spectrum, uh, the wavelength becomes uh, longer. It'll probably take some time before the temperature gets somewhere to 25 Celsius. but. Let's let's wait and see. Okay, now it's uh, 20 Celsius, so it's uh, six Celsius higher than it was before. So probably at um, 25 Celsius, we'll get wavelength some somewhere closer to 400. 40 I think so okay. 
and you see that it's still moving you also can see that the width of and stability of those uh, wavelengths for the laser diode is not stable so it has some fluctuations as well so that means that when we talk about laser diodes and generation of their power you still need to understand uh, the power which is here uh, is not quite stable it has some peaks and it goes down up and down and also stability of wavelength is not that that strong okay so i see the temperature is 23 celsius and we have roughly 440 uh, nanometer wavelength so it means that every 10, uh, 10 degree uh, we have uh, one nanometer wavelength change. Okay, we are doing uh, next step. So we are actually increasing the temperature of the diode. Let's make it closer to 30, yeah, 35, 33. Celsius and you see that it's uh, full power and the temperature is going up quite quickly so let me uh, put it on hold the video so uh, I'll get back when we get 32 here all right so we're getting to 32 Celsius so uh, yes, okay and uh, yes let's turn off full power and let's put the beam over here and let's check the wavelength okay so the temperature of diode is 32 celsius and let's see the wavelength yeah i can say that it's uh 42 probably it was increased a little bit but not dramatically we're closer to 440, maybe 0.4. But you see that we have 442 nanometers on the right, and also the minimum is 438. But like I said, the peak power is uh, on in the middle. So yeah, that was my goal, just to show you guys uh, the change of uh, wavelength spectrum while changing the laser diode power. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with, with your friends, subscribe on our channel, and learn more about endurance lasers. Visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. If you have any questions about lasers, diodes, email me uh, gf at endurancerobots.com. Bye bye.